The nature of COVID is that we need drugs. We need to drugs which we know work and we need them as soon as possible. For patients that are admitted to hospital with COVID, then typically one in five will sadly die. So actually saving lives is the key thing we're looking for. The recovery trial was set up at record speed. It had to be, we knew it had to be. We had to set this trial up within two weeks. Well, we beat that and we set it up within nine days. That is a speed and scale that has never been matched in any setting, uh, let alone in the context of a pandemic. We're studying four or five drugs simultaneously. And as we get enough evidence that one drug is definitely useful or perhaps not so useful, we can stop studying that drug and move on and slot in other drugs as they become available. To date, there were just over 10,000 uh, patients who have involved in the clinical trial. Roughly speaking, that's about 13 or 14 percent of all patients who've been admitted to hospital within the UK which I think in itself is something of a record. I mean, the collaboration has been colossal from different parts of the system, from within the UK, the Department of Health, from the regulatory agency, the MHRA, from the Ethics Committee, from the research infrastructure uh, on the ground, coordinated from the team uh, at uh, University of Oxford. Um, but this is not about any one person or one organisation. This is about teamwork and that's what matters.